guys so in this video we're going to be discussing some things that i got rid of in order to save money hey holidays are coming maybe you have some goals that you are trying to get prepared for in 2019 i know me currently last year 2000 and what 17 i was trying to get ready for 2018 to purchase a home so there were some things that i got rid of in order to save money so we're going to discuss those things and maybe you kind of do this right now maybe not but just in case we're going to talk about it because why because your girl is your personal budgeter and this is what i do i love to help you save money budget your money and figure out what is coming in and out so let's go so the first big thing that i got rid of and this is kind of a common um i think the reports that i looked up it was saying about 50 percent of people are now getting rid of cable i don't have cable and if i do right now i'm currently using netflix or hulu or i i used to have sling tv but the thing just would freeze all the time i don't know if it, be, it was because i had comcast at that time but now i have verizon files which is like amazing amazing okay and check this out when i got with verizon it paid for my netflix for an entire year so i'm actually really saving that money that i'm spending on netflix <laughs> So maybe if you are moving, that's something good you want to check out because Verizon has a special going on where they'll pay your entire year of Netflix. Yeah, that's like 13 bucks that I have in my pocket every month. You know what I can do with $13? I can think of a lot of ways. So if you are spending money on cable, get rid of it. Why? Because maybe you're like me i don't spend most of my time at home and if i do i'm spending a lot of my time working on youtube working on my budgeting business or my other bit brand you know i don't really have a lot of time to watch tv and if i do it's the weekend so think about those things to do i'm not saying that you can't have cable but maybe you have a top priority like how i did i wanted to buy a home so i knew i needed to save that money every month that i'm currently kicking out on cable into my savings fund i have to think of creative ways to save and budget your money number two dining out so maybe you eat out like every day no you need to stop doing that because if you're trying to buy a home and if you're really trying to save your money you definitely want to make sure you're not spending a lot of money because a lot of not a lot but all of the home loan people look at your financial statements in those two to three months span before before you birth before you get that actual approval so you want to make sure that underwriter is looking at your financial statements like okay they're not really out here spending like a lot of money and you want to make sure that it equals out to what you are saving these are the things that a lot of home buyers are looking for um that's just something in the specific like that's just at the top of the list if you're trying to purchase a home but think about it i meal prep a lot i tell you guys this like i meal prep for about three days because i told you guys before i really don't like meal prepping for a whole week because i get sick of shit and i know you probably get sick of things so yeah so now i do two three days in a span but i'm meal prepping i'm not really eating out as much as dinner like dinner was my problem area you have to figure out what your problem area is are you a person that actually meal preps lunch but you suck when it comes to dinner because you're so busy with your children you're so busy with life and you just really don't have time think the fall is coming perfect time for crock pot meals perfect time for oven meals you don't have to worry about it being so hot in your house during the summer i know for us summertime we spent a lot of money due to not really wanting to cook and we got so tired of eating like sandwiches but the beauty in that is we budget for it so it's okay if you budget for it but if you were trying to make like a big major life purchase i don't recommend you just spending money that you could be actually saving because twenty dollars thirteen dollars ten dollars five dollars add up so the third thing that i got rid of in order to save some money is i stopped buying stop being an impulse shopper so now when i want to purchase something i sleep on it 
You want to know why? Because when you go into a store, you see so much stuff and you're just like, I want that. I want this. I want that. But your bank account's like, girl, stop. <laughs> so you have to really sleep on your decisions. It's so important because sometimes you'll wake up the next day like, do I really need that? I really didn't need those new pair of shoes. I really didn't need that new makeup kit that came out. You know, I could wait on some things. Like, that's the most important part because you don't want to be out here just spending money that you could actually be saving. And whatever your sole purpose of saving is, put it in the forefront. Put it in the front of your mind when you are going into a store. And you know what a great thing is when I'm going into a store? Carry cash. Don't carry your cards because if you carry your cards, you're gonna wanna spend the money that you have, but you shouldn't be really be spending. So number four thing that I got rid of is subscriptions. So there's a lot of stuff coming out now. This kind of goes into with number one of getting rid of cable. Don't be sitting up here signing up for all this stuff. Like stop signing up for things that have, oh, it's, we give you free, but then after the free period, it end up it ends up charging you. Like for whether, say, so maybe you have two things that you want. So like how I have Netflix and Hulu. Like I said, how there's Sling out there. There's other different things that you can um, you make purchases on. So maybe you want to get rid of those subscriptions like Amazon Prime. Maybe you really can't afford. If you're not spending money every month with Amazon then why do you have Amazon Prime? Or I'm trying to think, like magazines or makeup subscriptions. So you know how they have the boxes where you pay like $20 a month and you get all types of makeup. Yeah, that's cheap, but it's money that you don't have that you could actually be saving. Like I told you guys, $20 adds up. And if you are really serious about whatever savings goal that you have, cut it. Cut it, cut it, cut it. So my fifth one is maybe you're like me. I'm a coffee fanatic. I'm a coffee freak. Gotta have my coffee. I'm a Dunkin' Donuts girl to the core. Like I absolutely love Dunkin' Donuts. I love in the summertime. They have it for a dollar. So another thing that I had to get rid of is my coffee. And I know a lot of you guys out there are like big Starbucks plans. So this is something that I decided to do for myself. I would set a treat for myself. So I have the Dunkin' Donuts app and I can get a free drink after spending a certain amount of money. So I would only put a certain amount of money on my card and I won't reload it. And you can also do like gift cards as well. So for me, anyone that knows me knows Dunkin' Donuts is my thing. So they know, <laughs> they know birthdays or holidays or something like that give me a donut donut so that I don't have to spend my money and also you can make your coffee at home it tastes just the same I actually like the um, Colombian coffee from Walmart so good and that's a great thing if you're like me who meal preps you actually can know what's going in your coffee because sometimes coffee can run you close to almost 200 calories, depending on what they put in. And you don't wanna do that if you're like me. So I hope that my five easy, simple things that I've decided to get rid of in order to save money help you. Maybe it, it'll help you to tap in some things that you are currently spending on, on unnecessary purchases and get rid of them. Like, get rid of them. Learn to meal prep, learn to Budget your money, and if you need help with budgeting, I serve people around the world. You do not have to meet me face to face in order to learn how to budget your money, and I take the stress off of you. That's why I wanted to introduce this video because I wanna have more on my platform so I can help you guys. So, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. You help your girl out so much. We're almost to 1K. My goal is to get to 1K by December 31st, and we're almost there. So, until the next video, guys, I will see you.